there's something that 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 I read uh, uh, about you and that resonated with me deeply because my wife has MS, multiple sclerosis. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's been some 40 years that wow. she's gone through a process of um, physical problems, beginning with her eyes, and it's, it's progressed, it's gotten worse, uh, lack of mobility. It's been, you know, a tough situation. Yeah. Uh, we keep her in good spirits, so she's very happy. She still plucks my nerves, so that means she's okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> she's in there. Doing that, she, she's, she's good. <laughs> And, uh, you know, we have grandchildren and whatnot. But something my son uh, said, we were in a public platform and he was talking. He said, well, you know, my dad is a caregiver because mm -hmm. my mom suffers from, from MS. And when he said that, it was the first time that you I realize. even realized mm -hmm. that I was a caregiver yep, to my are. wife. I mean, I'm doing everything I can to make sure that she's secure, that she's okay. Yep. But I never saw myself as a caregiver it was a revelation for me your father had alzheimer's has yeah he's still here and you are a caregiver for him i am i am tell us about that i am in my 11th year as his caregiver i'm glad you mentioned that because there are so many people more people than they know are caregivers. Um, parents are technically caregivers. If you have an aunt in another city and you're the one that makes sure she gets her food and stuff sent from Costco, you are a caregiver. You're providing care to someone that, doing something for someone that they can't do for themselves and often sacrificially. My dad has uh, Alzheimer's. I went to get him in Cleveland in 2013. So uh, he lived with me for 10 years up until the last four months, April, uh, maybe no, last two months, actually, April of this year, he had a fall and he broke his hip and he had surgery and we went through the whole rehab nursing facility and the dementia told him that he couldn't walk anymore. Like it, when it came time to do physical therapy, he just could not figure out how to do it. So he no longer is able to walk and I could no longer care for him in my home as I had been. There was a lot of guilt tied to it. And I've spoken about this publicly, a social worker that I was working with trying to figure out what was best for my dad. He said to me something that changed my entire perspective. It didn't remove the guilt, but it helped me understand that I was making the right decision despite the guilt. He said, would your time be better spent as your dad's nursemaid or his daughter? 